Hey, how's it going? And today I'm kind of on a little bit of a rampage right now and I'm making some tutorials on using the take recorder and I, ho I hope you're enjoying them. So anyway, I'm going to show you today how to do film a third person blueprint character and again keep in your mind how you might use this for telling stories relatively easy so I think I'm gonna do this one I've been thinking about this I think I'm gonna do this one in the in the simulation so we're, we have to go ahead and go launch here so we're gonna go into simulation blank and we'll go ahead and go create and it just takes a minute to load up the simulation I like it because it's kind of an endless platform and we're going to do very similar to what we did with the vehicle. If you happen to watch that one, we go to add and game feature. And we're going to add our third person player. And we don't have to do a restart with this. And I didn't have the problems I had with the vehicle. So that's good. So anyway, I'm going to close this so maybe that's something specific to the chaos engine you know I'm not sure and then what we'll do once we do that we're gonna set our game mode to BP third person now if we hit play our character comes in and everything seems fine okay so I'm gonna escape out of that and I don't think I need a player start but I'll go ahead and bring a player start in just so that I kind of have a starting point a consistent starting point so there we go and everything's good so now let's go ahead and film and this is really easy now one thing i wanted to show you was how easy it is to reposition your camera so let's go into the blueprint here and what you could do is you could set up it so that you have this is just one camera in here but what you could do is set it up so that you've got multiple cameras in here and then you have like short cut keys to switch and then if you have a player character that has built-in functions you could also key in particular animations like sitting down standing up laying down getting up turning around and things like that so I'll do some tutorials about that later of how you could do that so all we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and drag this camera forward and then we'll hit the space bar and we'll just rotate it around until it's 180 degrees and I'm not going to swap in the cine camera and we'll go compile and save and we'll go in here and we'll hit play and see what kind of view we get so we get this view so that looks good and then what we're going to do is once we've got our camera repositioned we can go ahead and we could put the camera in any position so let's say we want to tighten that shot up a little bit so what we can do is just bring it in and maybe bring it up. I think we can do this in real time actually. So we're just moving in the blueprint. So let's just do it like that. Okay. And then we'll just compile and oh, it's in play mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and compile and save that. All right. So we're done with that. So if I hit play, that's our, what we're going to be looking at. Okay. Fantastic. So, now we just go to window we just go to cinematics we go to the take recorder the source is going to be the player so we get the player and all we have to do literally all we have to do is i gotta stop it right stop okay there might be some little glitchy things that happen along the way i've noticed some things happen sometimes when i use the take recorder and sometimes what i notice is the play mode changes and if that happens it's, it doesn't play in this play mode if you click here it might open up as either a new window or standalone game and just you can switch it back here if you just click those that I've noticed that happen a couple times so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit play and then we're gonna hit record three two one and this is just gonna film the character running so I'm gonna click the board and there we go and I believe I'm changing my camera angle as I'm moving it. So this could just be the character running. And if I had hotkeys set up, I would just turn around and get a reverse angle with the camera in the blueprint. And we'll just hit escape and stop it there. And then we'll go into the content browser and we'll go into cinematics. We'll click here, double click there 
and let's double click this will take us into the sequencer we have to hit that button there and then if I hit play it should show the character take off running just like that and that's our shot now the camera looks a little jerky but so you might want to hold it fairly stable or I could add a little camera shake in there to kind of ha hide that okay so that looks good now the only question is will it render out so we just come up here in a sequencer and I'm just gonna turn off use compression and and I just wanted to see if I can get the best quality out of here. And I'll just do 1920 by 1080. And let's go capture movie. You don't need to save it. And let's see if it, it works. Seems to be working. Fantastic. And then that's all there is to it. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe if you do. And I am going to be a kind of a rampage the next couple months. I'm going to be focusing on lighting and animation, and then I might be taking a break for a couple months. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. But anyway, take care, and I will talk to you later.